Welcome back to the Math Goose, where in Math 7 we've been talking about statistics, specifically um, the specifically in this video we're going to be talking about statistics for um, representative sampling bias and, validity, bias and validity. Okay, so you want to estimate, so number one, determine whether the sample is biased or unbiased and explain. So you want to estimate the number of p students in your school who play a musical instrument. You survey the first 15 students who arrive at band class. So as we talked about before, this is biased and then not every student has band and therefore students are excused from the chance of being sampled. Okay, so this is more of a bias study. You want to know how many people play musical instruments, so you go directly to the most common or the people who play musical instruments. So everyone going into bands going to play musical instrument. Okay, you want to estimate the number of books students in your school read over the summer. You survey every fourth student who enters a school. So this is unbiased. Okay. Every student has equal chance of being chosen. Okay, so every student has equal chance of being chosen, so there it's unbiased. Okay, you want to estimate the number of people in town who think that a park needs to be remodeled. You savory every tenth person that enters the park. Okay, this is biased. Okay, um, only park goers are surveyed. Okay, so only park goers are surveyed. While everyone at the park has equal opportunity to be surveyed through every 10th person, we have um, a situation where, you know, not every, not everyone in the community, just the people who go to the park. Okay, number two, determine whether the condition is valid explained. So you want to determine the number of students in your school who have visited a science museum. You survey 50 students at random, 20 have visited the science museum and 30 have not. So you conclude that 40% of the students in your school have visited the science museum. Okay, so this is valid. Students are selected at random. Okay, number B. You want to know the residents of your town. You want to know the residents of your town feel about building a new baseball stadium. You randomly survey 100 people who enter the current stadium. Okay, again, we don't even need to read any further. Not valid. Only or sample made of baseball game goers. Okay, so again, we need to expand our sample to be more than just baseball goers. Okay, so I don't even need to read the rest of that. So we had 80% of the people surveyed um, wanted a new baseball team, a baseball stadium. So obviously, those people who go to baseball um, would want to um, have a new stadium. 
Okay, you want to know the favorite school sport for students at your school. You survey the first 50 students to enter the basketball game. Okay, again, I don't need to go any further. Not valid. Sample only made of basketball. Okay, so only those who are going to basketball games are being surveyed. So, of course, we're going to a lot of people who go to basketball games. Their favorite sport's going to be basketball. So, that's not valid. We need to increase our sample size to um, more like every fifth person who walks in the front door of the school. Okay. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.